Okay, to start off, on the left hand side you'll see that I've logged into the Vigor 2830 ADSL cell router and in front of you what you'll see is a range of ports that I'm sort of using port forwarding with. The important one for the VPN though is number one, which you'll see has been set to 1723 point to an internal IP address, a 222, which is what one of the Synology NAS boxes is sitting on just now. So that's configured. On the right hand side, I've just jumped into a remote session for our customer's PC. And what I'm going to do is live, is just go through, setting up a normal VPN, nothing fancy. And follow the wizard through. And configure this so that you can see it's asking straight away for the username and the password. We'll hit connect straight away, verifying the username and password, registering it on the network. Now there probably will be an error come up here because of our configuration in this particular machine. That's nothing to worry about at all. Accept that. That's me now logged into the VPN without any problems whatsoever. And what I can now do is, is that if I basically jump in to the NAS box itself, go to the VPN server side and then click on the connection list you'll see there straight away that the admin where it's coming from protocol being used that's it, that's fully connected without any problems so now what I'm going to do is I'm now going to change the router over and I'm going to put it onto the BT Home Hub 5. I'm going to go through the exact same scenario again, configuring that up and we'll see how that actually connects. Okay, as you can see we're now in the BT Home Hub 5. We're into the advanced settings, into the firewall and we're into the port forwarding side. Now what I've done is is I've created a couple of rules here. Important one for the test here is, is 1723 as I've set up. That's basically for the VPN. Now it's a case of what I want to do is I want to set up this particular thing to go to and then add that. Hit apply. So now what we should have in place is a rule that basically says anything that comes in on 1723 go to 192.168.15.222 changes have been applied. That there should be ready to go. You can see there it's been assigned and it's ready. So if we jump back into the client We'll go through the wizard again, connect to the workplace, create a VPN, give it a name, next, finish, hit connect. And straight away you'll see it's struggling because port 1723 it just isn't pointing correctly with the BT Home Hub 5. Okay so we've seen that so far we cannot get the VPN to work with the BT Home Hub 5. Now there's another option up here in configuration that will allow all traffic and as you can see there you'll still need to use port forwarding features to make sure that certain applications will work. So we'll hit apply Hit yes. 
that in theory should be wide open. We'll test the connection again. We'll hit connect. It won't work. It's as simple as that. It will not work. Now, again, the other way that you would get around that would be to go up to the DMZ and enable that. Now, what that should do is, is effectively make the thing wide open. Every port should be wide open. And if I put a specific IP address in there, it should point it to there. And in theory, that should then work. Now, this is one of the downsides of the BT Home Hub 5. If I go basically to select a device, you'll see you can't select anything. The reason for that is, is that the Home Hub 5 expects to be the only thing on the network which is allocating IP addresses and then in turn it then knows what computer's got what IP address. Now in business or people that run their own servers at the home etc, they'll usually find that their server allocates DHCP, fires out an IP address to all of the machines, that's fine and that works well. But with the BT Home Hub 5, what that then means is you can't use certain features of this router because it isn't really the master component for the IP addresses and therefore it can't actually be configured. Now, what I've done to prove the point with that as well is I've had the BT Home Hub 5, one computer, I've set the BT Home Hub 5 up as the master device, it gives the IP addressing out, I've set up the DMZ, I've pointed it to the NAS box, it's the exact same problem, it will not connect via the VPN. I put the Draytech back on, the Draytech goes in first time, every single time. Now, unless MD else knows another way of configuring this Home Hub 5, everything that I've tried here proves to me categorically that this device will not work with a VPN. That's it. Game over. It just doesn't work. Now, again, the firmware version of it, I've checked, there's no new updates. And as far as I'm concerned, this particular device, it just doesn't work.